So before the break, I showed you a case where I planned the case fully guided and uh, delivered the implant to its final position with a computer guide. And this was just to give you a little overview. I told you about the sequence of planning, uh, getting a CT scan and getting an optical scan or the model. And then these two sets of data are being merged. Now, it's one thing to get a CT scan and get information, but to know what you're looking at, at the different slices, a lot of doctors get lost here. And I wanted to spend only a couple of minutes. Uh, have, hopefully everybody's back. Give me just a yes or a thumbs up that uh, everybody's uh, list, hearing, me, hearing me loud and clear and seeing me. Uh, I wanted to give you a crash course in reading a CT scan because if you don't know what you're looking at, and it's not that com uh, complicated, but if you don't know what you're looking at, how can you plan your case? How can you plan the position of the implant? Okay, so let me share with you the uh, how to read a CT scan. We used to get those films in those big envelopes and everything has gone digital. We can now print them, but really you can look at them on your screen and you can now import them into your software and you can really make some decisions that will be good for your input positioning. They'll make the procedure safer, more predictable, more accurate and precise. And that's exactly the idea behind this course. So every dentist needs to speak the CT language. And this is like a quick crash course. So if you think about a CT, what does that mean? That means computerized tomography. <laughs> what does that mean? That means these are multiple x-rays, multiple x-rays taken from different angles and reconstructing a three-dimensional object. Okay. So in order to assess a CT scan, you need to be able to look at the different cross sections. And I personally was always uh, getting confused about, you know, what does each section mean? And uh, I would be lost, to be honest. And I needed to learn anatomy and we needed to learn that. But you know how I learned how to read a CT scan? Through a guided software. That's the best way to learn a CT scan. So what you need to do, if you're not feeling 100% comfortable, get a CT scan, study it, import it into a software. There are now free software like uh, Blue Sky Bio. Go to the website, import the DICOM images into the software and start studying it. Okay, and I'm going to give you just the first steps. So a cross section is in one part of the jaw, depending which cross section you pick. Let's say it's a cross section from buccal to lingual. Let's say it's a mandible. You can now look at the cross section and this cross section doesn't have to be aligned buccal lingual. It can be diagonal. It can be mesiodistal. Okay. And if you don't know how the cross section is oriented, you will not know what you're looking at. Okay, so any structure this cross section is going through, you need to be able to identify. Okay, so the three dimensional object is the mandible in this example. And a cross section through the ridge will show everything that is going through the ridge. And that's obviously the alveolar crest, whatever is left of it, the cortical plates, the cancellous bone, and a cross section of the inferior alveolar nerve. So I recommend if you're not feeling 100% comfortable, just import the DICOM images. And it's very simple to do. If you have problems, you can definitely email me. I can guide you through this process. Import them into a software and start literally playing with it and look at the different sections, move the sections across the arch and study the anatomy, not just of the arch or of the dentulous area, but also the different anatomy of teeth and you'll learn so much about anatomy. So this is a buckling cross was a buckling cross section. A cross section that divides the jaw in a apical coronal direction is called the axial view and that's a very important section when it comes to planning. I'll show you the distance between the implant and the adjacent teeth or between implants 
And that's extremely important, okay? So study that. So that's, uh, so we have two, the uh, buccolingual section, we have the uh, apical coronal section, the axial view, and then we have the panoramic view. Now, a lot of the dentists, and I'd like you to pay attention to that, a lot of the dentists are gravitating towards the panoramic view because it looks so familiar and they're confusing it with a panorex. And it's totally different, totally different. A panoramic view is not a panorex. A panoramic view is also a cross section, but this cross section is taken across the arch. It's a curved cross section. That's why we need to place our, our, our section in the middle of the arch so you can see something, but you see some teeth are missing and they're not missing. It's just because the cross section did not include them. Okay, so don't be confused. And don't even worry about it because the panoramic panoramic view is the least helpful in terms of implant planning. You actually don't need it at all. I don't know why it's even included. You can turn it off. All you need to do is look at the cross section, look at a uh, axial view and the three-dimensional object, okay? Now, anything that goes through the section will show not only the anatomy, but in case you have a virtual wax up or an actual wax up that, that was imported into the software, you will see the outline of the crown. And why is that important? It's going to help you plan your implant in the proper restorative position, okay? It'll also show you the outline of the soft tissue. How great is that? So you see so many things in preparation for your implant surgery. So. We need to understand that we have a three-dimensional object, which is our patient, depending on the site. And we use, we have three cross sections, the buccolingual, the axial, and the panoramic. In the panoramic, you don't really need. And if you want to think about it like taking a three-dimensional object that, object that is an apple, it's how you cut the slices. And the panoramic is like how you peel it.